It's been a, a bit of a grey day so far down here at Callaway Park, so uh, let's hope the blues of Helston and the green and blacks of St Blasey can brighten things up. This is South West Peninsula League Football, and it's brought to you by Pier and Films. <laughs> If you look at the league table coming into this match, you'll see Helston 9th, St Blasey 13th. They both have similar records, with Helston unbeaten in their last five games, St Blasey in their last four, and so you could be thinking we're in for a tight, tense affair this afternoon. However, as both sides like to get the ball forward very quickly, it promises to be a lot more exciting than their current league positions. There's also the added ingredient that they meet again in a fortnight's time, that one to be at St Blasey in the FA Vaz, and so no doubt both camps will be looking to get the one over on their opponents today. A bit of home team news ahead of the game. Helston have their fourth goalkeeper on display this afternoon with the arrival of Sam Borthwick, who up until recently was the player manager at Callington. That's Helston versus St Blasey, and brought to you by Pirin Films. So Walton with the free kick. Goes all the way in uh, testing Sam Borthwick. It was... Uh, Running backwards to make sure that didn't creep into the top of the roof of the nets. This time it's a bit higher on the penalty spot. Can he heads it away? Eddie's shot is blocked by Rendell. Alexander chasing down the ball, but Mulready was there first. Oh, Alexander's pass is a loose one. Finds Tucker, he looks up. Duffy was off his lime and uh, the attempt by Tucker almost caught out the St Blasey keeper Phillips to Jake Miller Miller the playmaker for St Blasey running at the, uh, at the Helston defence still on the ball knocks it back for Kenny this attempt is blocked and then there's a appeal for handball against Matty Bai who eventually Gets it away, but only as far as Alexander. St. Blasey attacking through Miller and Alexander, but uh, St. Blasey number nine ran into an offside position, but uh, that was a scare for Helston. Tucker's corner held up in the wind. It's right under the crossbar there. Duffy doing well to get uh, through a, a pack of players to punch the ball away, but still Helston pressing St. Blasey back. Tucker comes inside. Trying to get in a position to have a shot, perhaps, but uh, St. Blasey defending him at the moment, although he's still with the ball, and it's a penalty. The leg outstretched from Elliot Rendell catches Billy Tucker, who run run across the, uh, from the top side across the pitch, and then uh, eventually getting in the penalty area. And uh, Elliot Rendell just catches him. Penalty to Helston. So Billy Tucker, the man who was fouled, is the man who's taking this penalty kick. Jordan Duffy, the St. Blasey keeper, arms stretched out, and the ball goes straight up the middle of the goal. Billy Tucker gives Helston the lead. Helston one, St. Blasey nil. And quickly gets rid of it. And that will get Tribble in. Now the uh, assistant referee is flagging vigorously. That's not 10 yards, surely, is it? So Jordan Walton with this free kick. Borthwick will have to be ready for this one, making his debut here at Kellaway. The shot comes in, but uh, straight into the hands of Sam Borthwick. Only man up for uh, St. Blasey. Three Helston players back. Tribble still looking for help, I think. He's coming across the pitch. Alexander's made the run. That's a great pass. Alexander with a shot and blocked by Mulready, but uh, a quick break by the uh, Green and Blacks. Now then, Eddie turns inside, gets the pass to Tucker. Tucker will look to have a shot, which he does, and just whistles past that upright. Tucker on the ball for Helston. Nice pass forward to Matty Buchan. Cross comes in, Goldsby's there with the header, but just palmed away by Duffy. But that was a great cross in by Buchan. Finds, found Goldsworthy and his header down though. Uh, and a good reaction saved by Jordan Duffy. Oh, 
card oh, all the way back oh, to Duffy and then uh, short pass oh, forward for Lewis Phillips. Good play by the number 14, but uh, this ball forward towards Miller. It's cut out by Jewell. But Phillips again. This time it's uh, Lewis Tonkin gets it away for, for Helston. Randall can only stretch and get ahead to it, but uh, in fact, probably helped the ball end up with Liam Eddy. This time Eddy comes inside, gets a shot, plays his pass forward. Is it good enough? Helston easily read that uh, from Dan Harrison, and now they're on the break. Eddy on that top side, taking on Randall. Going past uh, more than one defender. Goldsworthy's effort is blocked on the goal line by Jordan Walton. What a stop that was by the Helston uh, by the base in number three. Now it's the Green and Black's turn to make an attack, but uh, well, Walton has kept Sipbasey in this game. Miller, little header inside of Alexander to Kenny. Alexander continue with his run, square to Tribble. Tribble is out uh, and he's caught. No, he's not caught by Borthwick. Thought for a moment the. Uh, the referee given the penalty. I think we all stopped for a second as the triple went down. So did the, the uh, Halston keeper Borthwick, and it's a free kick to the home side. Phil Catron is the man coming on. Sounds like Matty Buchan is leaving the game. To Perryman, two subs involved, but. Uh, not the way by Jewel, but only as far as uh, Jamie Wilmot. And then Mulready will send that one. Yes, he does. He gets it to Goldsworthy. Patron's making a run towards the penalty area. Tucker is uh, on his own on this right side, but Goldsworthy stays left. Takes it out further to Eddie. Eddie to take on Rendell. Cross comes in. Comes off what looks to be the number 14, Lewis Phillips. And it's a goal for Helston. Midway through the second half. Liam Eddy on that top side gets his first league goal of the season. The cross comes shot, comes off Phillips. Ends up in the far corner of the Siblazy net. Helston 2, Siblazy 0. Too far as so Siblazy take over again. Rendell on the ball. Challenged by Catron. And then Tucker to move away with the ball. Two against two here. Tucker to Goldsworthy. First touch takes him wider, but then he comes inside. We all thought the ball was going to end up in the corner of the net, but instead he's off for a goal kick. Flicked on by Miller, flicked on by, Ke uh, by Perryman. And that effort from Alexander, just wide. That was a quick break by St. Blasey. Bringing it forward again. Miller, bit fortunate to get the ball back into, uh, or trying to get it into Dan Perryman, but Matty Boy reading that well and eventually clears. Long ball forward, though Phillips is there, though. St. Blasey attack again. Elston quite prepared to get as many as they can behind the ball though and uh, soak up this pressure. Goldsworthy comes away with it and then uh, into the path of Catron. Catron's pulled back by Phillips but Catron's run continues and it's there. It is what 85 minutes on the clock. Great ball forward through to the substitute Phil Catron. He was attempted to, to be pulled back by Phillips, but kept his run going, slotted it to the side of Duffy, and this game's all over now. Helston 3, St. Blasey 0. In the 85th minute, it's a third goal for Helston. Hey. 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 Harrison, keep your discipline now.